before moving on uh, a bit faster, let me just show you the maps. Select the map from the chart option. And if you remember from our data set, we have the latitude and longitude. Okay, and don't don't get scared with the the dots in here. My Excel, as you can see, is in Portuguese, and sometimes I need to change the standard so it messes up a little bit. But in our case here, it's very already well configured. Um, so we have one point, one location point for each listing. Okay. Uh, how can we plot this in our map? So basically we can use, first let's go with the, the, the map chart type. Okay, so we have the same kind of options here. So uh, the difference is that we have more options. So we can use this scale bar here. We can customize it somehow. We have some options here to customize it. We can show or not the legend. And we can also add here title. So let's say here map. Oops. As you can see, I just mistyped it, but we can also change it from here. Okay. Uh, map settings. What we have here, we can change the base map to pale, satellite, or none. Okay. <clears throat> we can also customize it, but this is would be more advanced. Uh, we can use KML files and just show the borders from a specific uh, map. Okay. But What's very interesting in click maps is that we can add layers. Okay, so as you can see here, we have layers. Let's add our first layer, and we have the options here, many options. The our first options will be the point layer. Okay, so it will open here the the layer display. So let's go and add. And what can we add here? So we know that ID is unique, right? So let's add ID. And it will try to, like, it will look for points, okay? But uh, we need to change this in the location section, okay? So in, in this tab here, click here to change the location field. ID is not our location field. We can use the latitude and longitude if you have that in your data set. So let's put in here latitude and longitude. And perfect, that, there we have it already. So each one of these points represents one ID from this data set, okay? And just going back here to our presentation mode, we can interact just any other just like any other chart right so if I click here everything will be filtered in this specific neighborhood this is extremely useful so uh, it's very very uh, impressive going back let's go and change some of these settings going back to our map um, as you can see, I'm back here to the layers options. So clicking here, this will open the options from this layer. Let's change this, the size and the shape from this point. So we can size it by, let's pick it, for example, price. Okay, so average price. We can give it a label. Just like any other measure, okay, and make it as money. We can change the bubble size range. So let's say that we want to see very contrastant sizes. Okay, we because of the colors, we cannot see that very well. And we can also change the shape from it. Okay, we can make a triangle, square, pentagon, and also an image, a customized image using URLs, uh, in a specific URL. Okay, um, let's change the color using the measure as well. It's uh, redundant, but it will be more visual for us to understand our chart. Okay, so price, average price, change the name here to price again. And now 
let me just zoom in a little bit now it's better we can see the contrasts with the colors and the size right um, by default these maps they come with a limited number okay, here here we can see that it's currently showing a limited data set okay so uh, we can also change this in the options let's first see how many options we have how many listings we have available in our current selection so let me bring a KPI here and as a measure let's count the number of IDs which basically represents the number of points that we would have so 49,000 points that's too much for this chart actually we can plot all of them let's let's make that let's do that so going back here to our layer general um, we have here the options to show the size legend which was uh, down here but we couldn't see and max visible objects so let's make it 50,000 this this might take longer to load all right so that's why it's not always indicated to display that many objects but we can do that let's see if it gets too slow yeah it's very populated let's select here for example this this uh, neighborhood that has almost 4000 listings so selecting from here we can see how it uh, cuts the borders right so very interesting and we can also change the sorting as you can see some some are on the top of others so we cannot really understand the impact but let's go back here to our layer and also change the sorting using this ID so change the sorting from auto but let's use this sort by expression okay and this will open this expression option and this is a little bit more advanced but uh, in short we can change the the columns and change the expressions manually so let's click here and add our average price AVG price okay I believe price is with is not capitalized so we could also select from here so we have the tables the fields and the aggregation function so let me just delete it to show how to, to pick that if you don't want to to do that manually let's make pick here the aggregation function so average in the field would be price let's hit here insert and there we go hit apply from here okay and this will change some of the sorting there we have it so now uh, on the top we ha <coughs> we have uh, higher prices okay so um, one very nice feature from the map is that we can select from uh, like manually we can cut the map basically and make selection from that so if I click here once on the map I can see this option to select from the lasso selection or with the circle so if I use the lasso selection let's say that I want to analyze only these points I can pick all of them apply my selections and everything in the chart will respond to that okay and the same with the circle selection we can use the radius so I click and drag so if I want to select for example 700 meters radius there we go apply selections much better right <clears throat> Good. So now we have our first map. We can also use uh, another kind of layer. So on top of this one, let's add another layer. 
which could be the density layer. So click in here and let's do the same thing as in the other one. So let's hit pick ID as the dimension. The location also needs to be changed. And let's see if it found, yeah, it just found it. Uh, it's under the point layer, okay? So let's just go back in here. Uh, first, let's rename this this one here to uh, heat map, okay? And go back to our layer options. So we can see here our density layer. Let's put it on the top of the point layer. <clears throat> there we have it. So expanding it again, the options. Uh, we have the location setup. We can change the weight. So uh, let's say that we want to do it by the counts of IDs. Okay, so basically it's the same. It would just count the number of points and so basically here we have more listings than in the rest of the, the map. Or if you want to analyze it by price, we can pick here average price and see where is more expensive. So there's probably a very expensive listing right here. Okay. We can change the, the radius so that it gets more <coughs> broad or not. Okay, so let's make it very narrow. <clears throat> we can also change the colors. Okay, let's just leave it like that because it's kind of standard, right? Sortings, we don't have to change that. And options, we, uh, we need to change this max ob uh, visible object. So as we have here almost 4,000, let's make it 4,000 and see how it reacts. Let's see. Because now, now we can visualize the entire selection, okay? So um, going back, and, and we can choose to, to show this layer or not, okay? So if I click here in the layer display, we can just hide it uh, if you prefer, okay? So going back here, let's just lift this one under the point layer <clears throat> and as you saw we have the ID in this point layer as the main field right and this is not very good for us to, to pick information from this map because there is a tooltip so when we hover the mouse on the point we can see what's uh, what the details are okay so let me zoom in in here so again, we have a very expensive uh, listing here, but we do not know the name of this this point. Okay, so let's change this by uh, changing the the column, the main column. So instead of ID, let's concatenate here using an expression. So we have the name column. Let's concatenate using this character. And also single quotes, space, single quotes, so that we have a space between the name and ID columns and also the ID. So basically we are concatenating these two columns and why are we doing that? Because normally names, they are not unique. So sometimes we have duplicates. Uh, as the IDs are not, uh, like the IDs, are, we are sure that it's unique. We can just concatenate both of them and in the, map, in the map, let's hit apply. Let's just change the label here to name. Go back to done editing. And now we can go back and hover the mouse again and see the details with the tooltip showing us the name. There we go. So Broadway 1. It's the most expensive here. And then we have Bright and Sunny 2 Bad. Br Brushwick and the other one is private 
one bedroom apartment. So that's how we can change the tooltip. And uh, it's not very visible, but we can reset the zoom. So let me click here. We can go back to our preview selection. Okay, so basically now we have uh, a set of charts that can be very useful for our analysis.